There she is, my favorite superstar! What now? First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with the big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? <laughs> I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? As long as you stop sniveling. I... will try. Hey, there she is. Uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. Of what message? That, due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me, your match here at Money in the Bank has been canceled. Don't hurt me. Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. It's really, when you think about it, a geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the Earth itself. Or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure, her too. Definitely not Troy. Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied. We've got a last minute change making a big night even bigger as Money in the Bank is also homecoming night here in Minneapolis for legend and three-time champion Molly Holly. Everyone loves a homecoming, everyone loves a comeback. And for these fans to get both those things in one, what the hell? What was that all about? Can we get some help out here? Don't you look awfully proud of yourself. I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. I don't know how you did things back at TBD, but here in WWE, we show a little respect to those men and women who paved the way. You're just saying that because you consider yourself one of them. Feel free to lick whoever's boots you like. Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? 
The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if WWE fans are dumb enough to still want to watch some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I am happy to show that dinosaur the door. I assure you, Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. So, Molly, I'll happily ruin another one of her nights anytime she wants. I'll let her know, and we'll see. Molly's a lot tougher when she knows you're coming. Molly Holly obviously looking for payback here. Cap deserves whatever she's got coming to her. The RKO out of nowhere was a cheap shot. Oh, uh, you're just upset because it happened right next to you. My life flashed before my eyes, Corey. And what a throw that was. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Man. She scores big with the counter. There's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, clothesline. They're going to kick the features off their face. That's mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Good defense. And Molly Holly gave an opening, and it was capitalized on. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Ah, oh, and Molly Holly answers back. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Stomp to the leg. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh, nicely done. Seated suplex. Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. Oh, a well-placed knee drop to the skull. Delivers the knee drop. Can she capitalize? Thrown back in under the ropes. Molly Holly feeling the energy. The energy from the... Rolled up from behind. This could be it. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Carefully placed stop to the arm. She saw it coming. Bruising attack. To the stomach. Great counter. Quick takedown there. Play impossible. Whoa, play impossible. She gets a quick kick out there. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Who's feeling this more? Her or the crowd? At this point, this is incredibly ill advised. You're in the middle of a match. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Oh. Ah. Uh. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Ah, and Molly Holly answers back. Knife edge chop. Oh, Molly caught by the counter. Axe handle from the middle rope. Stop. Look at it in here. This could be.
here is your winner, Sunshine Susan T-Rex. Sweetness! Molly Holly on the losing end of this one. Holly tried her best, but just couldn't quite get it done. Tonight, I proved a point about who still has a place in WWE. Ever since I stepped foot here, I've been bombarded with endless praise for the so-called legends. We love them. We adore them. We hold banquets in their honor. <laughs> but at some point, every banquet has to end. And yet, there are some legends here in WWE, who refused to get up from the table. They finished their meal, had some dessert, polished off a cup of coffee or two, even paid the bill. Do they care that others are waiting for their chance to sit down? Do they care that the staff wants to leave? No, they just sit there blissfully unaware of everything going on around them. These rotten relics don't even know. What the heck? Beth Phoenix couldn't stand any more of the disrespect. It looks like Beth wants to settle this right now. This fight is getting started before they even make it through the curtain. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the straights. Oh, runs right into the table. She avoids the contact. Uh-oh. Backbreaker. Ooh, sidewalk slam. Was all sorts of nasty. Able to sidestep it. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. And the knee. What a sick thug from that table. Oh, man. Quick sidestep by Beth. She was clearly waiting for that. Oh, that surprises Beth. Look at the velocity into the table. Oh, God. No! Table launched right at their opponent. And that one misses the mark. She's staying elusive. Taken down. Ooh. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Beth sizing her up. She flips it back on her. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Double underarm hook, 
blocked and countered with a vicious clothesline. And up and up she goes. Beth just adding salt to the wound right now. Well, she's reached the top, and I can't tell if she wants to run away or get dangerous. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Well, she made it. Now look. I know that area wasn't meant for this kind of stress. Who knows if it's even meant to hold that many people. Could collapse at any moment. just broke and now nothing is keeping them safe Ooh. and gentlemen I've seen a lot of movies with scenes on a catwalk spoiler alert they usually end in catastrophe oh I hope that's not an omen of things to come oh man oh. and targeting the leg there Oh, ah, stop to the belly. And remember, guys, this is a loading dock area. This isn't built with any safety precautions in mind. Say what you mean, Cole. No one's supposed to be up there. Way to steer clear. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. No one trains to be taking these maneuvers in this kind of environment. This is just danger stacked on top of lunacy. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. so hard that the bolts just bursted off the railing. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. This is insane. Where are these two superstars going to go next? No! Are you kidding me? looking blow. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. The awesome power of the Glamazon. Bell glam slam by Beth Phoenix. Man, just punishing. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, takes a big clean hit from the table. In a well-executed move, we just... That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now, can we get some help? You just gotta help stirring the pot, can you? I'm just fighting for what's mine. That wasn't a criticism. Just remember, you're facing someone who's forgotten more about wrestling than half the roster's ever known. Now that you've got her angry, 
Make sure you finish the job. Not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna make her dream of retirement. Yeah. Show the glamour's on, it's time for her to get glamour gone. <laughs> Good one. And that's the plan. Beth Phoenix has left a real mark on this industry, and I wouldn't be surprised if she used a table to leave a real mark on Cap's face in tonight's tables match. Hey, if someone's not gonna pass the torch, you're well within your rights to snuff it out. Looks like a battle between tradition and progress in the ring, and here at the commentary table. Boom, did you hear the impact? Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. A face buster knee smash. That looks painful. Tiger suplex. As impressive as that was, it has to take something out of a smaller competitor. And Beth with a counter. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Big forearm. All the way up, the crash landing powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Counter! And now there's an opening. Setting foot in the ring now. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. They're playing ways, battling this area could end in serious harm. A complete lack of mercy shown towards Phoenix there. Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh uh, yeah, gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Oh, propel into the table. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. Big time clothesline. Good grief. And Phoenix is in a state of distress. Yeah, Phoenix needs to rethink her strategy fast. And she dodged that one nicely. Put her in a position now. This is no way to get out of it. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Close line. Good lord. So effective. Battling ringside and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. She's gaining momentum here, guys. Really taking control here. Beth able to dodge that. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Throws her back in from ringside. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Taking this to the floor. She will wisely return to the ring now. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. Yeah, she's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Oh my goodness! Oh wow, rendered unconscious. The official has to call. Here is your winner, Sunshine 
They're happy to win, but I think even happier to avoid going through a table. A tables match takes its toll, but they were able to pull out the win here. The Glamazon takes a rare stumble. You hate to see it. 